What's up everyone, this is Slaffy King here, and today join me for another one of my Fallout 76 videos. Well, oh, let me just wait my character out first. Oh, good. Kindred Spirit. That's good. So, in the last episode, uh, I was doing the mission... I was doing the mission Hunter for Hire. Um, I was just about to go to the gang leader's uh, scenario, and that's what I'm going to do now. Um, I've added one or two things since the last episode, like... Uh, like a fireplace and a workbench and yeah so I'm gonna head there now probably want to equip the shotgun I think this time the shotgun will be the more viable option especially if we're going up against super murans by the sounds of it actually what's my armor like Action points. Oh, it's got radiation. Radiation buff. Also, I've just noticed my uh, food and drink is also getting low. Okay. Steak. Ah, that, whoops, that was the uncooked one. My bad. Tell you what. Let's use where's the rad X. Just to get that just to get that cleaned up. So since the last episode I went back and uh, I went back to that fairground to do a little bit of um kind of a little bit of a hide and seek type thing, like it was a toy. In the fairground. But that's not ominous at all. Alright. The problem is, like in the old days, I would have, like, for the others' fallouts, I would have saved it and then find out what was the best option. This time, I don't have a choice. So this is actually going to be an interesting scenario. What? Oh yeah? What's the password? Go on through. Bosses in the main building. I've also done a little bit of leveling up as well since last time. Oh, who's playing the who's playing the guitar badly? Oops. Oh yeah, I did or did I did also find the bobblehead as well. Don't do anything stupid. We'll watch it. No one's heard from Bat. Suspect he finally managed to get himself killed. <laughs> Battle was a long shot anyway. I always figured it'd take someone coloring with a full box of crayons to find us our prize. Not actually as many guards as I thought. You're the one with the password? I presume someone gave it to you because they thought you could be useful. Name's Roper. Now, explain to me why the hell you're taking up my air. Is that so? And why exactly would I do that? Don't know why you care so much, but... Fine. 
We'll get Crane's treasure ourselves. Now get out of here before I change my mind. You win, all right? We'll... we'll leave the place alone. Now just No go. sudden moves. Please. Well, that was a little bit underwhelming, I have to admit. But at least the uh, looks like the job is going to be taken care of peacefully. It looks like. Now there is a there is actually another thing. Um, there is this thing too. Because I, for some reason, I do have a key. I have a key in my possession, but I don't know what it does. Don't know what you said to the boss. I guess we're leaving you alone. All right. What's the best route? Probably the best route is to go back to the road and then follow it along. Route 81, eh? Okay. Now, of course, I have no idea what's down this way. Hello, there's a vault. Okay, now you have my attention. First, let me uh, just get this house location. So it looks like the way I'm going, there's a vault. So if there's one thing I'm always, if there's always one thing I'm keen to explore when it comes to. I think I got the shotgun. Dang, there's a decent amount of uh Ooh, I got something salvage. What did I get? I got something. Miscellaneous, hollow.
Huh, interesting. So it looks like there is a genuine treasure in the game. I just don't know where it is. Right, am I going the right way? Pretty much. on my way back to Foundation. Ever been there? We're always looking for help. We're doing our best to rebuild Appalachia. Maybe I'll see you around there one day. Whoa, okay. Everyone can see you're on cams. Go sleep it off. So I wonder if this vault is going to be high numbers or low numbers. What I mean by high or low is, is it going to be above or below 50? I'm going to say, I'm going to say above 50, that's what I reckon. Only just Vault 51. So it's only it was only just above 50. Oh, hello! Welcome to the shelter's claim center. Claim your shelter now to expand your home. Oh, that's pretty sweet, actually. They would never come. I haven't had a visitor in ages. Welcome to the Appalachian Shelters Claim Center, visitor. I called Mr. Clark. It's my job to help eager new customers such as yourself take your first step into the miraculous world of shelters. Oh, cursory analysis suggests you are likely here to. Goodness, <laughs> forgive my tone. I'm experiencing some memory issues. <clears throat> as I was saying, a bright eyed visitor like yourself must be here to claim your free shelter today. Is that right? Splendid! Oh, before I can distribute your shelter to you, you'll need to register as a shelter owner. The terminal in the back will guide you through it. Once you've finished registering, return to me and I'll distribute your free shelter to you. Why do I feel like there's more to this than meets the eye? to have a customer. I was beginning to think this day would never come. Hello. I'm so grateful to have a customer. I was beginning to think this day would never come. So I wonder if that's so something triggered in my It 
It looks like you've successfully registered as a shelter owner. Congratulations, visitor. A marvelous new world of home expansion awaits. I'll distribute your free shelter to you, along with some materials to build your shelter's entrance, as a personal thank you for being my customer. Before we part ways, visitor, is there anything else I can help you with? Certainly. Your free shelter is a complimentary expansion for your home, modeled after the very claim center we're standing in. It comes equipped with workshop functionality, so you can get started building and decorating right away. Simply place the shelter entrance you claim today in your camp and prepare to enter a bright new world of home expansion and customization. Nice. Then allow me to extend a warm Shelters Claim Center farewell to you, along with my thanks for being my first customer. Enjoy your new home, visitor. Okay, that's that sounds pretty neat. Oh, unrefined gunpowder. Yes, please. I just realised I need to. I need to get out of this room because they're playing potentially a copyright song. Ooh, but not without this. Quantum. So, yeah, okay, I'll take that. And and as a bonus, I've now got a vault to explore. But this video has actually been actually been a bit longer than expected. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back to Vault 51. Probably for one more video I suspect. Because yeah I'm always a fan of exploring vaults. So I'm going to actually fast travel this time to the... Yeah I'm, I'm just going to use the 18 caps just to get there quickly. So I can wrap up this quest, and then in the next video I will be exp probably exploring Vault 51, just to see what's inside it, because if there's one thing I, like I said, if there's always one thing I really enjoy doing, it's exploring vaults. Yeah, I don't want to. Don't want to find out about that. Just in case. You're back. You managed to get those punks out of our hair yet? And that worked. Well, remind me not to get on your bad side. But you did good. Shows maybe you could be trusted. Maybe. But there's still the issue of my missing muscle. They went out chasing some unsavory characters. Never came back. They're two of the tougher cookies I've met in my day. So them being gone this long means something happened. You track them down? Maybe I remember a thing or two about this crane fella. Well, missing person number one's named Polly. Got a transmitter in her. You could track her with your little radio there. Missing person number two goes by Saul. Those two are closer than toes and bad stilettos. So if you find one, the other's likely close by. Find them for me, and I'll pay you for the privilege of getting to yell at them in person. Not the foggiest, but that's where the transmitter comes in. Tune to her station and it should get you going in the right direction. 
They're called the Scorched. They're an unpleasant bunch, in character and appearance. They've got raw skin, with crystals sticking out of them. And they're still real handy when it comes to firearms and bludgeons. So you'll want to be careful around them. That's for damn sure. Appreciate it. Polly's tracking frequency is 99.7. The once proud home of Appalachia's smooth jazz. I figured someone should get some use out of it. Find out what happened to him. If I need to find new people, I'd like to at least ensure I tried to do right by the old ones. Excellent. But before I leave, I have a little bit of... Uh... Definitely not really that much caps. I'll probably do this off camera. Well, at least that helped. So, strength in numbers. So, I'd imagine that can't be too far. However, I have already made a decision for the next video, and that's to explore Vault 51. Like I said, no idea what's inside it, but I'm I'm interested to have a look. Um, and also, the likelihood is, um, when it comes down to it, Vault 51 is probably going to be the last thing, probably going to be the last thing I'll be doing in this series, um, unless you want it to continue, of course, because because um, <clears throat> this video, I think, if I'm correct, this series starts a week or so after I first filmed it. Uh, and I haven't made the decision at the time I'm making this video of whether I'm going to continue it yet. So yeah, that's what I just need to decide. Um, but like I said, I'm going to go to Vault 51 and we'll see what happens. So I hope you've enjoyed the, today's episode. If you did, then please make sure to like this video and subscribe to know when my newest videos will be coming out. Hope you've enjoyed and for now, this is Slyther King, signing out.